A Plaguelands Media Production. <laughs> hey everyone, this is Hugh from Plaguelands Media bringing you another horror book review for our Plaguelands Media Horror October. This one is uh, pretty cool. This is Star Wars Death Troopers. Uh, yes, this is a Star Wars horror novel. Sadly, it is not canon because um, when Disney took over Lucasfilm, all of the Extended Universe books uh, were no longer canon, canon, but they have been re-released under the Star Wars Legends title. Um, what could be so horrific about a Star Wars novel? Basically, this is a zombie horror novel. Just happens to be set in the Star Wars universe. So, there are going to be a few spoilers. I apologise for that, but I'm going to jump right into the next episode of... So the premise of this book is uh, pretty cool. Uh, we start out on an Imperial prison barge called Purge, which is headed to a penal moon when two of the thrusters of the barge go out. And so they're kind of hobbling along uh, in space when they come across a derelict star destroyer that has no life forms on board. The Warden of the Prison Barge sends uh, a team of Imperials, accompanied by two Stormtroopers and an Engineer, up to the Star Destroyer to try and get some parts to fix the, um, the barge, the Prison Barge. When they get back, fucking shit hits the fan. Okay, so, who are our main characters? We have quite a few of them in this book. Uh, the two main characters that we first meet at the beginning are Trip and Kale. They are brothers who have just lost their father. They were a family and they were taken by the Imperials. Oh, by the way, this is set 10 years before Episode one, uh, episode 4 A New Hope um, in the timeline. So they were taken by the Imperials and uh, their father has... Uh, just died and so they're kind of trying to continue his grifting uh, on the prison ship but that kind of goes horribly horribly wrong. Uh, our next main character is Zahara. She is the uh, doctor on board the ship and she has handed in her resignation over the death of uh, Trig and um, Trig or Trip? Trig, sorry, Trig. Trig and Kale's uh, father. Then we have uh, Satoris. This is an Imperial captain. This is the man who was responsible for the death of um, Kale and Trig's father. And so these are our kind of four main characters. When they are... Um, the, the crew come back from the Star Destroyer, they brought with it a pathogen. Uh, everyone on board starts to get really, really sick, except for Zahara, Trig, Kale, and Sartorius, and ultimately they die. Um, the Doctor Zahara decides that she wants to find out how many people are still left alive on board the prison barge, so she goes to the main computer, and asks the computer for life signs, and the computer tells her that there are six uh, people on board, and that two of the people that are alive are in isolation down in the hole. She travels down there um, because she discovers that her blood has the kind of um, antibodies for this virus because she didn't get sick. So uh, her helper droid creates kind of like a vaccine almost, and she heads down to the to the hold to find out uh, who is down there and to hopefully give them the um, the vaccine just in case they aren't immune to the virus. Uh, now this is the part of the you know, the novel that kind of threw me for a little bit because when she gets down to the hold, uh, she discovers that the two prisoners in isolation are in fact Han Solo and Chewbacca. It was a really great book, and then I wasn't sure 
do they really need established characters in here? Um, and then, you know, it was just a, a very weird jump. But ultimately it worked very well because they Chewie and Han were written perfectly. Absolutely perfectly. So, um, Chewie and Han get the vaccine. And as they are going back to kind of find the other survivors, um, all of the bodies are gone. Um, where there were once the bodies of the sick and fallen all over the ship, they've vanished. Um, what has become of them? Well, they're zombies now. And so the Doctor, Han, Chewie, and the two boys, Trig and Kale, uh, have to fight their way through this zombie horde on this prison barge. They ultimately end up in the Star Destroyer, where there are even more zombies. And from there, they are pretty much fighting for their lives. Some of the characters live, some of the characters die. Just what you'd expect from a, a zombie flick, but set in space. Uh, I'm not going to tell you how it ends. Uh, you clearly know two of the characters that don't die. Um, there was a prequel written to this, Red Harvest, um, that goes into the origin of the pathogen that was on board the Star Destroyer. We get the idea that this pathogen was created by the Empire as a means of controlling or making a better um, series of warriors. Um, the ending is very intense, uh, just like you want an ending for a zombie story to be. Overall, absolutely fantastic Star Wars novel that is Death Troopers by, Dro by Joe Schreiber. I cannot wait to read Red Harvest, the prequel to this. This is one of my favourite Star Wars books of all time, and that cover art is absolutely amazing. So there you go. If you enjoyed the video, like, subscribe, leave a comment, follow us on uh, Facebook, follow us here on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, all of that other good stuff. Um, but most importantly, stay safe, have a fantastic rest of your day, and please read a fucking book, people.